this is Windows 10 setup of a task scheduler auto reboot. So first thing you gotta do is you gotta go into your little search bar and type in the task scheduler. And as soon as you write task, it's gonna find it, click on it, and it'll open the application. Now we're gonna be creating a, a basic task. Um, and as you can see, there's a bunch of canned tasks in Windows 10 that uh, are already created. So click on create basic task and give it a title. I'm gonna call it auto reboot, uh, really simple. And give it a quick description. Um, this is to reboot the system daily now. Um, you can set it up for weekly, monthly, whatever you want, or just a one-time event. But uh, sometimes Windows needs to be rebooted, so I automated this task. Okay, and then the, you can pick a time and a date in which it starts. So that's the date in, for today, and I'm going to pick 11.39, uh, just close to midnight. And it recurs every one day, but you can, you can pick how many days in between. And then you pick start a program and then you can click browse and that's going to take you right to your Windows System 32 folder. And you could, you know, drill down or, or go down and try and find the file, but I find it's just te this easier to type it in uh, and it will filter out uh, what those files begin with. In this case, it's shutdown.exe. So you uh, select that and then you must add an argument because if you do not, it's just going to shut the computer down. So minus R means reboot. So you put that in there. And then before you close it or click finished, you must check the open the properties dialog for this task. And the reason you do that is because there's a couple more settings you need to set. So you click the finish after you check mark that and then run uh, whether it's logged on or not and also run with highest privileges. That way it will actually uh, complete the task and then you can look at your triggers, make sure that that's all correct. Look at your actions, make sure that's all correct. And then if you wanted to, you could say that uh, if it hasn't been idle for at least 10 minutes, um, then do not do the task. So that could be like you're logged in and you're working on something that it would not complete it. So I might check that later. Um, to keep it from rebooting while I'm working on something. Um, and then of course there's, you know, if it, the task doesn't run, how long does it wait before it tries it again kind of stuff in the settings. Um, but I usually leave all that default and click OK. And then you must use an administrative logon and password in order to complete the task so that it actually runs so that it needs that account. Once you put that in, it should add it to the selection in your library. So I normally click refresh and then I'll click on the task scheduler library and see if it's listed. And there it is, auto reboot. And when it occurs, the next time it's going to run and if it's been run before and also the author, stuff like that. So once you've completed that, now you can test it by just going to it and right clicking on it and selecting run and that will do it immediately. And that way you can make sure that all of your stuff is set up correctly. So this test run, I clicked run and as you can see, it says you're about to be signed out. So it takes about 30 seconds for it to sign you out. So you have about 30 seconds to um, get all of your stuff saved and or shut. So I would recommend that you don't leave things um, running uh, at nighttime without saving. Otherwise, when this thing auto reboots, it's going to lose anything unsaved. So 30 seconds hits and now it's actually restarted. And it should take about another 30 seconds and it should be booted into Windows. Now I have an SSD drive, so it's running pretty darn fast. But as you can see, about now it's booting up. And it 
it should come up to the login screen in about six seconds. And there you go, 10609. And that is it. That's how you set up an auto reboot in Windows 10. Thanks for watching. If you'd like, you can like, comment, or subscribe. Thanks again.